everyone, Mary Espresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me today on this September 10th, 2024. Another 12 by 12, I think it's number 18. And we're going to make a double sided mini album. And it's from Pink Strawberries but I did change mine a little bit and I'll talk about that in a minute. But first, uh, this week's papers and thank yous and all that. This is um, Paper Lanterns journal kit, journal pages maybe I called it, I can't remember. But I think it's um, 36 pages, yes, 36. All kinds of fun stuff to play with. I didn't print them all out. I was going to call it Parlor, but then I changed my mind and just kept it simple. But um, this one I accidentally, or I printed twice, so it's it's just the same image and then I have another little collage collection just threw this together of some odd lots <laughs> odds and ends of other designs I combined and just threw together that's on Etsy um, paper lanterns is on Shopify only so there's that, and um, thank yous to Janita, Kat, Anne, Nikki, Shika, Cherry, TMR, Paula, and Sharon. So thank you so much for your purchases, and your kind reviews, and your kind comments, and your... Um, your response to my new playlist which is trash to treasure I just decided to call it um, just use the traditional so that people know what it is although trash to treasure could be anything from furniture flipping to paper crafts but maybe well I'll probably just leave it. Okay, so we're going to make this folio. And I did it. And then I did it on single sided because she used a horizontal. Uh, hers was at Christmas in July. So I want to do, um, try a horizontal, and I don't really have that much, what would I call it, scenery type paper. So then I um, messed up my envelope <laughs> because I didn't pay attention to where the scores were, and then it was upside down. So I kind of had to change the entire thing at the last minute. But we're going to do the same thing. It turned out anyway. I have a little tuck and a little pocket, whereas she just had a little flip and a little pocket, and her envelope was secured on the front, and uh, she had a little string between the envelope and the cover which I'm not going to do that part. I'm just going to secure my envelope. Uh, what I made this week, a couple little wax paper uh, napkin bags. Very cute for fall. I might do that soon. So what you'll need is a 12 by 12. And I just want to show you what I mean here by uh, you know she had a it was Christmas in July so she had a Christmas scene so it was something like this and you're going to 
if you do it like hers, which I will put a link, uh, you're going to want to cut a horizontal to start with. So I'm just showing you that as an example. And I already cut my 12 by 12 down. So I have my two pieces. And the larger one, one will be larger. And you're going to set that aside. That's our um, folder. And this one is going to get cut a second time. So your first cut is going to be on your horizontal at five and three quarters. So that's this piece. And we're going to set it aside. And then I'm going to do the other cut here with you on this guillotine. And it will be at five and three quarters. So I do have that here. Let me just put my finger there and make sure I get this right. Now we're going to cut it at seven. So, okay. Forget that seven. And then it will be five. Okay. We're going to cut that at five. I need a seven inch left over. Let me mark that to make sure because I don't have another sheet of this and I don't want to mess it up. Okay, yeah. We're going to cut that at five. Okay, there we go. So then we have a piece that is five by five and three quarters, which it is, and a piece which is seven by five and three quarters, which it is, and a piece that is six and a quarter. by 12. Okay. Okay. So I forgot. You'll need your scoreboard. You'll need some glue. Uh, you might need a punch if you want to do a punch. And I think I'm going to do my punches a little different today. So first we're going to make our envelope. And we put it on the seven inch side. So we're going to take our seven by five, seven, five, five and three quarters. And we're going to score it at two and three quarters. Two and three quarters by six and six. I think I want this to be my outside. And there's our little envelope. I should trim that. There's a white edge there. Although if I do it this way, no, I like this way for the envelope. I'm going to trim that white edge because that's part of the branding strip. Even though it looks cute on the other side. Let's just 
didn't trim close enough. Okay, there's our little envelope. And we're going to glue that for the cover. This time I'm going to do it correctly. Okay, then our five by five and three quarters on the five inch side. We're going to score at two. Where'd you go? We're going to score at two. There you are. And then that's going to be our little flip on the inside. Flip pocket. I'm not sure how I might put that that way. We'll see. Okay, then for our cover, we're going to take our 12 inch piece and we're going to score that at four and eight. And then I'll decide which way I want this cover to go. Probably Ooh, that's cute. Okay, probably like this. And then I have this crazy thing on the front. I love this paper. <laughs> it's wild. But it also looks kind of sweet and old-fashioned at the same time. Okay, so then our little flip. The only problem with it is it's going to be the same. Okay, it's going to be, well this paper is so different, I'm going to make this like this. So that's going to be my little flip and that's going to be a pocket. And I'm going to trim that little white edge off of there. Oh, this is going to be cute. I, ho I hope they have another sheet of this. <laughs> I'm going to have to go see. I got that at Joanne's. And I didn't bring over the branding strip. I can't remember who it is. Okay, wait, let me get this right, like this, and let me get a notch in there while I'm thinking about it, and I think, I think I'm going to do my notch with my envelope punch board, which is over here, if I can get my drawer open, sorry, I put it away, so yeah, I saw these recently and I thought they were cute, let me make sure I get my I think I want it somewhere about there. Okay, there's my little notch. Okay, and then the envelope needs a notch, which is I'm going to put it probably in the same place. Well, maybe I'll do the middle. Let me see where the middle is on here. Five and a half. 
And that's supposed to be five and three quarters. Let me do it the simple way. Make a little pinch. And get a center. Okay. <laughs> and for a minute there, I was worried that might be a little too deep. Okay, let's get this out of the way and then we will begin gluing. Okay. Boy, is that cute. Love that mix of patterns. Okay, we're going to do our envelope first, and I'm going to put some kind of corner on here. And I think I'm going to make it fancy. Now she put her infamous glitter strip on her envelope and cut hers out with a punch, a round punch, which was a cute little idea. So, oh, even that is cute. Oh my. I don't know. I'm kind of loving these bright papers lately. I was going to do the big daisies, but then I thought, well, I use this paper. I actually did give away the thing I made with it. So, but let's just use it again. Let me put a clip on there. Here's my other clip. So I hope everyone's doing well. Another beautiful week coming up, hopefully. My daughter's doing well in school. She's finally eating. Normally, I think she was afraid to go to the, uh, I don't know. Let me make sure my text is going the right way there, which it is. That's all I was doing there. Okay, so this is going to get glued here and here, three sides to make a little pocket and then it um, gets glued in there close to the score line but not on the score line. Put that there so we don't lose it. And then the other piece is just a little flip. And then she did have a piece of vellum over the this edge. I'm going to show you that, or give you the measurements for that. Okay, so we're glued on three sides. Why do you keep, why do you slide? Don't slide that. Stop sliding. Okay, so that was just a little flip in a little pocket. Oh, that looks so boho. Love it. 
okay and then this folds in and this folds over and this was nice I mean it's just super quick it was a bulk mass make for Christmas as I said Christmas in July and I'm going to turn this one into a pocket. So she had a string glued between these, the envelope and the um, cover. Why are you popping out there? And then I, when I messed mine up, if you want to do the same thing, I just glued my flap to the inside and then I had it like that as a little flip which is also super cute you can do that if you want if you don't want to mess with the envelope or the pocket but I thought you know what that's driving me crazy I don't know what kind of closure. I might have to open that up again. Because I don't like that popping out like that. Yeah. I'm going to re glue that. Sorry. Just don't like that popping up in the center like that. <laughs> okay. There we go. It's more flat. And then I'm going to have to put some type of, I'll put a button or something on there to keep that closed. See if I can get it as flat as possible. And she put her little glitter strip there, but since I have that little ruffle edge, I don't really have to do that. And then she suggested a top pocket. But you know what? I'm going to do a, a side pocket. Turn that envelope into a side pocket. But it is so cute. Part of me wants to leave it loose. Oh, if only it would fit in there. But it won't. That is so cute. I, I might just leave that loose because that's too pretty. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find another piece of something and make a pocket and leave that loose and just tuck it in. I just think it's too pretty. Truthfully. I do. I think it's too pretty to hide. Now if I did another flip it wouldn't be hidden. I could do that. And then I was going to make that another little tuck if I did that. No, I think I'm going to leave it loose, you guys. But anyway, that's what you would do. She just glued hers on there entirely. And then she had a little tuck. A little envelope, I mean. But I think it's too pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it loose. And then I'm going to leave that up to you. But you have your little flip. And you have your little pocket. Let me see if I can get something here that doesn't look too ridiculous. 
tuck some little tags in there. Oh my goodness. It's a color riot, but it's very pretty. So I think I'm just going to leave it and leave this. I'm going to get another sheet of that and make a um, tuck or a pocket or something to, um, I don't think I have any of it left from my other sheet. I'm going to make a little pocket and just tuck my little envelope in there because I think it's too pretty to lose the back of it actually. Okay, so we're at 27. I hope I didn't mangle this completely, but that just shows you how many different things you can do. Let me see if I could fit this in here. I can. One of my other little, I could put that in there. This is from a, uh, oh boy, not too, not too long ago. Can't remember the name of it, but I could glue that in there and put that in there. Those are pretty much all the same colors. But I'm going to go to the store and see if there's another sheet of this or something else coordinating. Yeah, there's my little belly band. But I could... Yeah, I could do that. Make another one like that. And then I would have one, two, an extra little tuck, and a place to put my place to put my envelope. So that looks cute. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Love that. I know it's super bright. <laughs> I'm telling you, a year ago I probably never would have even picked that up. But that's just the way it goes. Things change. And then here's the first one that I did with single sided paper and I messed it up. Had a pocket. I had to glue it like that because it was upside down. Turned my pocket and my flip into another little tuck. Cut off the corner and used the corner there. So, very versatile. You can do all kinds of things with this little thing. And that is number 18. And I hope I didn't mess it up too bad. All the uh, measurements will be on the blog post and all the scores will be in the video. So thanks for your time everyone. Number 18, two more to go and I'm going to try my best to find the best, the nicest, most useful and versatile 12 by 12s that I can find. So you have a great week, everyone. Thanks for your time. Bye.